Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. Again, I'm smiling. I hope you can tell behind me. It is my first brand new supercar, a 2021 Porsche 911 Turbo S, the big daddy, one of the fastest production cars available, a supercar with hypercar numbers. I took delivery yesterday, so uh, this was on April 14th, depending on when you're watching this video, and uh, less than 24 hours later on April 15th. Here we are to uh, take care of the uh, entire vehicle, so detailing it inside and out, but today we're focusing on the exterior detail. So this is going to be an entire washing, decontamination, machine polishing, and of course, application of a protection. And I'm sure you guys are wondering, what did Pan choose uh, to protect his brand new supercar? And the answer is a ceramic coating from Roar Coatings based out of the USA. I know this is probably new to many of you, so it's a two-step process. This is a base coat and we get a top coat as well. So Roar Coatings, I can quickly tell you that this has many special things because it is ceramic based, but it also has graphene infusion and also has polysilazane. So three components, what <clears throat> mind blown. I have a special guest that knows everything about it. We're gonna discuss uh, what this pro grade coating is all about. If you guys are interested, you'll be able to have uh, that service uh, done to your car as well. Or if you're watching my videos and you're a professional detailer, you're even going to be able to become an authorized installer, but authorized installer with a twist because Roar Coatings has a very special philosophy about the way they do things and they take care of their installers with many different services and help to grow your business. It's pretty awesome. But uh, hopefully you can tell we worked all day. The results are absolutely stunning. I'm sure you guys uh, are dying to see what we've done, how we have did it, and also who the special guest is that's going to talk about it. It's a jam-packed show you will not want to miss any minute of it, so watch from the beginning all the way till the end. Uh, yeah, I'm cracking a huge smile once again because I'm super happy and uh, oh, wait till you see the end results, guys. So without further ado, you know the drill. Let's go ahead and start the show. I have my buddy, Ivan LaCroix, that's here today. If you guys remember, he had done my BMW two years ago and I trust this man's judgment with my life. And so I asked him and reached out to him and said, listen, what is the best technology that's available as far as a coating is concerned to take care of my baby? And uh, his answer guys was a coating from a company called Roar Coatings. You're gonna learn everything there is to know about it. But first of all, Ivan, welcome back to the channel. It's nice to see you. How are you? Great yourself. Absolutely. Uh, by the way, guys, before I forget, Ivan has had over three decades of experience in the detailing field and he has his own YouTube channel and it's called the Detailers Business Academy. Am I right? Yep. Yeah. And so he gives a bunch of advice. If you're a professional detailer out there and you want to grow your business, check his channel out, guys. Uh, show him some love from the Pandy Organizer family. Go subscribe to his channel. I'll leave the link in the description, by the way, uh, as long as well as a link to this coating if you want to have this applied to your vehicle and if you're a professional detailer and you want to come an authorized installer of Roar Coatings we're going to have all the details at the end but Ivan my uh, viewers are probably dying to see by now can you show the coating what is the technology that's in it and also which steps you'll be performing on my vehicle for the application so pan true to form loves the detail he's had the car less than 24 hours and he's already washed it prepped it done all sorts of things to it we're going to be adding a little more to that. We're going to be claying it. We inspected it before. We noticed that there's a light amount of contamination, not much, but we're going to be claying the vehicle with an iron remover as a lubrication. That way we're, it's safe for the paint, but at the same time, we're going to be tackling two for one. So the lubrication from the iron remover and the iron remover is going to help remove any iron particles. He's got the carbon ceramic brake, so not a lot of brake dust on the car. The, from there, we're going to be polishing the surface. The paint is almost flawless. It's not flawless, almost flawless. There's a few things we went around with inspection lights. We found a few little details that need to be taken care of. So we'll take care of those and we'll give it just a, a quick polish everywhere just to brighten up the surface. Then we'll be applying the coating. And the coating that we're using is Roar, as he mentioned. So this is the base coat. 
And this is a, a three to five year coating by itself. The next step that we'll be doing an hour to 24 hours later, but we're not going to stay overnight at pan. So it'll be one hour later. We have the hardener and the roar coating is a tribrid technology for a, it's not a, an official term, it's not an official word, but it gets the idea across. It's a polysilazane base that has SiO2 and graphene added to it. Uh-oh, graphene. <laughs> yeah, that word. Some say it's <laughs> only a buzzword, but I'm sure you'll tell us why it's important and why the uh, three components, so polysilazane, graphene, and ceramic, why were they so important in the development? Because you had a role to play, right? Not only as a consultant, but you actually helped in the development. Exactly. The polysilazane from an industrial coating side is an amazing product, but from a detailer side, it doesn't have the gloss and slickness we love. So we added the SiO2 to it. The SiO2 does a few things, it gives us the gloss and slickness that we all like from an SiO2 coating, but at the same time, it gives compatibility to other things. So you tell a person to put a coating on a car, you don't need to do anything else to it, just wash it, keep it clean. Unfortunately, we like playing and we like adding things. So if you're using anything that's SiO2 based, like a rinse, SiO2 based rinseless, an SiO2 based instant detailer as a drying aid, an SiO2 based soap, whatever, it's actually going to bond to the surface. So you're going to get the effect that you want with those additional items while still keeping the coating there as a base. And then the graphene. Graphene, as <laughs> Pan said, it's not just a buzzword. Uh, for some people, yeah, they use it as a buzzword. They put, you know, one drop in a hundred, uh, in a thousand liter container and they call it graphene. There are good graphenes and there are bad graphenes, but the, not the graphene itself, but people just using it as a buzzword, people that actually incorporate it into the formula the way it should be. And with Roar, that's the way it is. The graphene is there for one specific reason, and that's water spot prevention, not water spot it's not eliminating water spots, but it helps prevent the, the number of water spots you can get on a vehicle. Someone like Pan will never get a water spot on his car because he knows how to wash it properly. But not everybody that gets a coating knows how to maintain and wash their cars properly. So the graphene just helps with that. And the graphene gives a very particular type of slickness. It almost feels velvety compared to an SiO2. Uh, and in terms of look, there's not a big difference uh, between graphene and SiO2, but in terms of slickness, it's a different slickness. So it has the graphene in it. It's a graphene oxide. It's not a pure graphene. And it's going to give his Porsche a long-term durability. Uh, Roar guarantees it for seven years, but well-maintained, it's going to last the lifetime of the car. And with Pan, we know that in three years, he's going to be going to another car anyways. Vehicle, yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, is there, what's the curing time on that coating? So no exposure to water or rain for how long? One hour. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Roar has been tested and proven. The whole goal behind Roar is for the detailer to build their business, not for the detailer to build Roar's business. So things have been done with the formulation to make it so that, yes, you can release it one hour later with no worries at all. Then is there any toppers required? What kind of maintenance are you looking for this? Uh, toppers not required, but if you want to use them, by all means, enjoy yourself. That's why the SiO2 is in there. The maintenance is once a year decontaminate it or every two years or every six months, depending on how you drive it and how you maintain it. And when you mean decontamination, is it just the iron remover? Or should you not clay or should you clay? You can use a chemical decontamination. So an APC iron remover, uh, and then an acidic water spot remover and rinse it and you're good. Uh, but if you want to, you can clay using proper lubrication. And a lot of people are weary about claying. It's using the right clay material, so a perforated clay towel, and using the, uh, a proper lubrication that is not going to allow the clay to actually touch the surface. So what is the, uh, the component that you like the most about the coating? So we're obviously going to be getting some gloss, slickness, hydrophobic properties, right? Yeah, you're going to get gloss, slickness, hydrophobic properties. It's 9H like every other coating. Uh, but it's a very easy coating to maintain. It looks great. It feels great. And you have the durability, which is a great thing. A lot of people, they'll put a one or two year coating on and find that it actually lasts three to five years. Uh, 
depending on how you maintain it. Other people will put a seven year coating on and three years later they've worn through it because they go through a brush car wash every week. Absolutely. So it really depends on how you maintain it for the durability. But the maintenance is very simple, it's easy. There's no specific items that you have to use to maintain it. All right, Ivan, well, I think it's time my viewers are excited and I know I am. So let's go ahead and uh, start the steps, right? Yep. So to be safe for the paint, we're using the rinseless wash combined with the iron remover and a perforated clay towel. This gives us the, the best safety we can have in claying. And since we know we're going to be polishing the vehicle, there's no need to worry about what little micro marring this could possibly induce. But I know from experience that it's not going to induce any micro marring. So. And for detailers that have an issue with the price of a, uh, an iron remover. Iron removers, yes, are expensive. And they get really expensive when detailers basically waste them by spraying it on the vehicle. When you use a perforated clay towel like this, you literally just spray it on the towel instead. So you use a lot less, and as Pan can attest, you don't get the odors that you do from spraying it in the air as much. It doesn't smell like a, a, a hair salon right now. So now we've done the claying process, we washed it, and we're going to wash it again. Now we've rinsed it off, so there's no more iron remover left there. But the reason we're rinsing it is you want the rinse of solution to act as lubrication for drying. That's the only reason we're doing this step. Now, generally speaking, if this were a white car, we wouldn't be worried about it. We'll go ahead and dry. Because the, the drying is what can leave micro marring and scratches in your paint. So by using the, the rinse -less wash, we now have lubrication, and that lubrication makes the drying easier and faster. Since we're coating the car, we don't want to use a drying aid, because the drying aids always leave a little something on the paint. Uh, well, we're wiping off the polish residue, and as you can see, it wipes off super easy. And the polish we use is McKee's Coating Prep Polish. So it's designed specifically for this purpose, and it wipes off super smooth. <clears throat> no, um, has no fillers, no waxes, no, no silicones, no hydrocarbon solvents. But as a safety factor, we're going over it with a coating prep spray. So the coating prep spray just allows us to get those little fine bits of dust that are here and there. If we see a little uh, stray, uh, stray bit of compound that we missed, we can take it off. So it, it allows us to give it that final, final go around, final inspection before putting the coating on. So we have the Roar base coat. It's a standalone coating. If you want three to five years, if you want seven years plus, then you go with the two stage coating, which we'll be doing on Pan's car, even though it only keeps it three years. But the, the two stage coating gives you a lot more gloss and slickness. So that's, that's Pan's reason for getting it. Uh, super easy to apply. And like any coating, you know, the instructions on coatings go long and go far, but it should really just be get it on the paint. And that's what we're doing. We're getting it on the paint and it goes on super easy, circular motions. And the reason I do circular motions is if you do a back and forth motion, every time you stop, you have the capacity of getting a high spot. Whereas the circular motion, Mr. Miyagi had it right. You get it on, 
as long as you see a, a damp trail behind you, then we're good. And then it starts to flash or evaporate the carrier solvents out of it. And once, once that oil slick on water look is starting to look more like a, just a clear surface, you wipe it off with a pearl weave towel. Now having your lovely wife with you to do the coating is always a great thing. Or if you have an employee or can do it in a team of two, it always goes faster and you have a, a better job. Because the person following behind wiping is actually the quality control person. So if you have an employee and you're not sure of their quality control, you have the employee apply the coating and you have the person doing the quality control or the, the owner of the company wiping it off. So basically you're leveling the coating? Yeah, you're spreading it out. Your towels actually never get wet or damp or contaminated with coating because all you're doing is what little damp coating is remaining on the surface, you're spreading it out. And when you're done uh, wiping the entire vehicle, do you have to throw the towels away? No, no, no. Uh, you simply put them in your wash bucket, whether it be rinseless or soap, it doesn't matter. Let them soak for a little while and then rinse them out and you're good. And from what I tell you, you're applying it on glass now, so can it go on all exterior surfaces? All exterior surfaces. Glass, plastics, paint. Yep. You name it, it goes on it. And if you have uh, piano black surfaces on the interior, you can put it there. Yeah. It has no smell, no odor, no VOCs, or not, met, not much in terms of VOCs. So you don't need a mask when applying it. So wipe off happens pretty quickly once you apply from what I see? Yeah, you, uh, you can wait a little longer if you want to, but basically Sylvie's been doing coatings for almost 20 years, so she knows what to look for as well. But if, you're, if you feel drag on the towel, then you're a little too soon, or if it feels sort of rubbery or um, like you're moving water around, then wait a little longer. And humidity changes that, uh, that time frame. So a mobile detailer can apply this as well. Direct sunlight outside, hot, humid Florida day. Next step is the hardener. So the hardener gives you additional gloss, additional slickness and hardness, obviously. Uh, and in your case, we know you only keep the car three years. So in three years, there'll be another video uh, <laughs> of pan coating a car. But nonetheless, the hardener gives it just that little bit more gloss. And I know you, you have a built-in gloss meter in your eyes, so that will uh, that'll definitely help you uh, with loving your car. Same application, so I put a fair bit on the applicator to start, and then once we get the applicator primed, we're good to go. I always like to start on the hood because it's a nice surface and I can see it well. So I, I get an idea of how it's flashing, how it's working, how it's spreading, and then on the areas on the side that we don't see quite so well, once we have that motion in place, it's just a mechanical motion, we go through it. So is it flashing like the, uh, the first layer? Yep. It reacts quite, quite the same, but since we're putting it on the other coating, it's a, a chemical reaction that's bonding the two together. and you'll be able to feel, immediately feel the slickness. As far as um, resistance to chemicals, do you know the pH range for this uh, particular coating? What does it resist to? Two to 13. Now on the glass, we're not putting the hardener on. There's no need to. It doesn't make a difference. And for the wheels, I think you said the, you the base as well? Yeah, exactly. And if you happen to have a high spot in your base coat, the hardener will level it out. The, the whole goal behind it is ease of application. It was developed with that in mind. The Roar wants the detailer, the professional detailer, to be able to be profitable at doing this. And having a coating that requires excessive amounts of time to cure, 
excessive amounts of coats, et cetera, et cetera, takes away from the detailer's profitability. And also for the end user, it drives the cost up as well. So uh, this is a, a good balance. Right now, Ivan, which countries are, uh, are they doing installation in? Right now, just the US. But after this video, it's probably gonna spread a little, a little more. No, it's a nice technology, it's a nice product, it works well, uh, and it does what it says it does. There's no hype, there's no, you know, even though it has graphene in it, there's, there isn't the hype that is associated with graphene. That coating goes on the wheels as well? Correct. And when we're coating a wheel, I always start at noon, figuratively, and work my way around. That way I know I'm not missing anything. So now let's have a look at a clean side panel. Wow. <laughs> I'm so excited beads for days right look at how round and tight and crisp those beads are that is absolutely insane gorgeous 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 so if you guys want to have this done and you want a pro grade coating on your vehicle again the link in the description under the video to find an installer local to you but why i have ivan here now is because if you're a professional detailer and you're looking to uh, be an authorized installer of road coatings there's something special about the brand philosophy right from uh, tim mcdonald the owner and ivan's going to talk a little bit about it so what exactly does uh, what happens if you want to become an installer so to become an installer first there's a link below uh, from there, go to the website, check it out. The philosophy is a lot different with Roar. A lot of the coding companies use the detailers to build their brand. And Roar's whole philosophy is the detailer should be using Roar to build their brand. In other words, you won't see many Roar installers with a Roar banner on the wall or a Roar on their shirt or things like that. They're more interested in building their own company and their own brand and their own reputation than they are interested in building the ceramic coating company's brand and reputation. Uh, so that's the big difference. Roar is extremely concentrated on building businesses and building detailers, their detailing into a business. And that fits with my philosophy of going from detailer to entrepreneur. So that's why I'm involved with the company. I like the company, I like the people in the company, and the product is really good as well. And so the, the, if you become an installer, it's not like you just sign up and they let you go and do whatever you want and they don't care about you anymore, right? No, exactly. There's uh, coaching that comes with the program. There's a weekly coaching call for all the installers. There's also one-on-one -on -one coaching. There's advertising support. There is actually a sales program as well. So if you're not, you know, you're a passionate detailer, but you're not a salesperson. Uh, Tim has a staff of salespeople that actually take, take your leads and convert them into sales. Yeah, that was huge when I was talking with uh, with Tim, the owner of Roar Coatings. Uh, this was the entire support you get on the back end. So you can be the best detailer in the world, 
But if you don't know how to market yourself, how to grow leads, how to get leads and all that stuff, well, you're never going to have work or never be profitable, right? No, exactly. So that's a huge help that they give you. And we're not all salespeople. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're passionate about the coding. We're passionate about what we're doing, the detailing. Yeah, but we don't know how to close a sale. Uh, Tim's team knows how to close a sale. They're sharks when it comes to the selling. So that's what they do. They know the coding, they know the products, they know how it works, why it works, et cetera, et cetera. But they also not know how to close the customer and get the customer interested in getting the coding on their car. And it's a value proposition. You know, a lot of detailers unfortunately undersell themselves uh, because they can't afford the coding that they're putting on the customer's car. If you ask many detailers, would you pay $1,800 for the coating you're putting on the car? And they go, oh, no, I can't afford that. Well, their customers can, but they always see it as it's too expensive for me, therefore it's gonna to be too expensive for my customer. And the, the people at Roar know what the value of the coating is, what a coating can bring to the customer, what the coating, you know, it, it actually is a value proposition. Even though it cost $1,800 or $2,000 or whatever for a pro-level coating, you're actually getting that value back. Uh, there's a lot of lot of value in a coding. So guys, just look at the end results of the uh, complete detail of my brand new uh, Porsche 911 Turbo S 2021 model. So the new 992 generation. Uh, it, it's breathtaking. The gloss and slickness are insane. I'm going to have a lot of fun uh, washing the car in the future. It's going to be a breeze. Uh, no topper needed. Of course, I'll still be having fun with a bunch of stuff uh, in future videos, so stay tuned. Uh, but maintenance, maintenance, if you want it to be, is just pretty much washing your vehicle. Many, many years of durability. Of course, I'll be following this closely, so stay tuned for updates. Uh, but yeah, once again, <laughs> results are stunning. Uh, I want to thank Ivan LaCroix once again uh, for uh, being so supportive of my channel. Go check out his channel as well, the uh, Detailers Business Academy on YouTube, link in the description. Uh, I also want to thank Tim McDonald from uh, Roar Coatings. Uh, based out of the uh, USA. Tremendous job with not only a fantastic coding as far as the technology, the performance, ease of application, uh, and uh, the way he supports detailers who want to become authorized detailers and help them grow their business as well, generate more leads. Uh, it was super, super interesting to get to meet him. I thank him, by the way, for taking the time to sponsor this video as well and making all of this possible. I am uh, beyond happy because once again, yeah, I think the results speak for themselves and uh, who knows what the future holds. But of course, you're going to have to tune in to the Pan the Organizer channel. And to do so, if you haven't done so yet, please consider clicking the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. Once again, all the links, of course, to the products where you can find an installer. And if you want to become authorized installer, I'll leave those in the description under the video. Also, what do you think of the end result? Isn't it amazing? Drop a comment. Let me know how excited you guys are for future videos as well with this car. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section under the video. And of course, thanks for being there. Thanks for being faithful to the Pan, the Organizer channel. It truly means a lot to me. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.